guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sydney. If you guys are new here, you guys clicked on it because you guys want to see the G Easy reaction. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited. I love G Easy. I've seen G Easy in concert before. Um, I also really like Hoodie Allen and Black Bear. Like, that's the type of music that I really vibe with. And so, if you guys are wondering, like, I am I, I'm not like a diehard, like, oh my god, G Easy is my life. But, like, g is kind of my life, you guys. Like, I love his music. I have definitely, you know, f***ed to g before. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, Sydney, like, why are you saying this? But it's just because, like, his music and his lyrics and his beats just go so well. And I, I love the fact that his lyrics are actual lyrics. They're not just, like, bullshit that he pulled out of his butthole. Like, all of the songs that he's ever come out with, all of the lyrics are just amazing. And then hearing him and I was just when, when that song came out i was like this whole album is going to be great so i hope that you guys enjoy this video if you guys are new to my channel and you guys don't follow me on my socials do that add me on my snapchat which is somewhere up here follow me on my instagram tell me what your guys's favorite song from this album specifically is in the comments down below i love you guys so much though and let's get into this i hope you guys like my reaction i'm just gonna roll with the cuff i haven't listened to this album before and um yeah so let's go Go the first one, the beautiful and damned featuring Zoe. <coughs> I like the beginning. Okay, so I have to be honest with you, the first song I love I'm a lyric person and I just love the beginning part. Um I don't know who Zoe Nash is, but I love her voice in the intro. I heard that he also rep uh like talks about how he's a Gemini like a lot in this album. I like this. I like that song. Let's see Second one pray for me I love how he incorporates like a ton of different things. It's not just rapping. It's like people in the background, too I love that lyric Not my number one song. This one is so good. I love Halsey <coughs> I actually fun fact and it's him and I because I love the crazy kind. I love this song. I watched the music video. It's so cute. It has like Ashley and Gerald in it and like it's just so freaking cute. Okay and the other thing about this song is like I actually was in California when it came out and I was sitting in the back of like a Camaro going 140 and um we were like making out in the back and like this song is just like that type of song and it's, oh my god like it hit me with the feels and like the memories and just like I love this song you guys like oh my god this one's so good four it's called but a dream I love this part it's called the next one is sober with Charlie Puth and I like Charlie I love the lyrics in this song I have to tell you guys like I really like this song as well I love the fact that the beat in it and then the lyrics like I love the fact that G-Eazy has lyrics that are real and like if you break them down and you actually listen to the songs over and over and you listen to the lyrics like you really can connect with them a lot more than like some singers. Um, the next song is called Legend. This one's more like a bump song. This is not something I would ever listen to while I'm like, you know. So this one's called No Limit by um with asap rocky and cardi b i freaking love this song you guys i love this song like this one's really good <coughs> i love this I love the freaking beat to this song. I love the lyrics. I love where um, I'm pretty sure it's ASAP Rocky that's in the beginning of it. Um, I just like that part. And then like I love G Easy in it the entire time, obviously. But like I feel like this collaboration was really good. I think that song's really good. Um, the next one's called The Plan. It's number eight. I 
super size one. Okay, so here's the big thing with this song. This song definitely reminds me of his past album that um, he just had before this. Like, I think that his music doesn't change that much, which is why I really like it. Because he adds new things in, obviously. But, like, when it comes down to it, he still has, like, his roots. He doesn't change his music too much. Like, you know what you're going to expect, kind of. Like, you know you're going to get good beats. You know you're going to just, you're going to be, like, getting a real, a real album and real songs that are, like, not horrible, you know? The next one's called That's A Lot. I think it's number nine. I like this intro. This is good. I really like this song. It's called That's A Lot. That one's like a really good one. It's in my top five, that's for sure. Now let's see, this one's called, number 10, Pick Me Up, featuring Anna of the North. Yeah. I like this. I like it. This one's called Got Damn, and it's number, I think, 11. I like that lyric. I like that. This one's called Lavavian featuring Sam Martin. Carefree, but there's a dark side that haunts this. Paparazzi gossip loves to watch this, but you establish not my favorite, but it's not bad at all. Like, it's just not my favorite from this album, you know. Oh, Kalani, mm. this is I love his collaboration. I like this one. This one's Summer in December. I heard there's maybe a music video for this one, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna look it up. Not my favorite either, but it's not bad. Like, I would listen to it in the car. Cause the, yeah, that's not my favorite, but it wasn't bad. Next one's Charles Brown featuring E-40 and J Ant. Okay, the next one is called No Less, and it is number 16. 16 is my lucky, lucky number, guys. Oh, I love this intro. This is what I like. I love this lyric. I like the lyrics already are really getting me. I like this song. Okay, Mama always told me number 17 featuring Madison Love. I like this song. This one's called Fly Away featuring Ugo Chi. I love this beginning. Right there, made that song amazing. Love it. Like anytime I find a song, there's and there's that one lyric that really speaks to me. I like. I'm in love with it. I'm going. I love this song. Holy crap! I'm gonna be lifting that one. The next one's called Love Is Gone featuring Drew Love and it's number 19 and there's one song after that. I love this song. Love is gone. I love this song. I love the beat. It's a Halsey beat. It's the one that's. I, I sold my soul for a three piece. He told me I was holy. Hold me down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That song is the same beat this one has. I don't know the name of it right now. 
See? That was song number 20. That was so freaking good, you guys. Like, these 20 songs in this album are freaking amazing. I'm absolutely obsessed. So his new album is definitely 9 out of 10. I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 just because of the fact that like there wasn't like one specific song that that like besides the one with Halsey, like I loved all of them, but there wasn't one besides the Halsey song that I was just like obsessed with from the moment I heard it. Um, I really know that like I like No Limit. Um, my top five would be Him and I for number one. This is like from listening to it right now. Crash and Burn with Kilani. No Limit, But A Dream, I really like that song. I think maybe No Less or That's A Lot. But either way, I love all of them, they're so good. Or maybe Sober, Sober's really good too. Why did I just like not even knock, why did I just knock that off my list? Anyways, there are so many good songs in this album. If you guys haven't gotten it and you guys like don't have Apple Music or anything like that, I'll like try and find a playlist that I can link down below. Um, otherwise I have mine on Apple Music and I also have Spotify that I pay for both because I like love music like that. But with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new to the Fit Fam and you guys want to be part of here. Like I occasionally do post like reactions to new songs and I love g Easy, I love Black Bear, I love Hoodie Allen and I've seen all of them in concert now and I can tell you guys right now like they are life changing. But with that being said, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for tuning in to another day of fitness. This was a fitness vlog, so um, yeah, I'm gonna roll my typical outro now, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching another episode of My Fitness. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, and uh, if you guys wanna sign up for my mailing list, feel free to do that too. But with that being said, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.